Hello, I'm Simply Jelly Jam. I don't normally do voiceovers on my videos, but I thought it would be helpful for this and a few other videos that I'll share soon. I got four mainstay bookcases from my local Walmart for less than 30 US dollars each. Two of the bookcases served as the back part of my craft cabinet, while the other two bookcases served as the doors. I started by assembling just two bookcases. I got four four packs of caster wheels with brakes from Amazon for a total of 60 US dollars. I placed four casters on the bottom of each bookcase so I could freely move my DIY craft cabinet when I needed to. It took some trial and error to make sure that they could swivel without hitting the bottom walls of the bookcases. Uh, with the help of a pencil and a ruler, I was able to create guides to help me determine where I needed to screw in the casters for each bookcase. My dad volunteered to help me with this project. He said he wanted to make sure I didn't mess anything up, but really it was a fun project to do together. I spray painted the backings of the bookcases with a light blue color. I do regret not priming them first. Because I didn't prime them, some of the paint chipped and I found myself making touch-ups every now and then as I continued working on my cabinet. My dad insisted that the backings were too flimsy and wouldn't provide enough support, so he went ahead and cut several thick pegboard sheets for better backing. We nailed the pegboards to the back of the two bookcases and sealed the gaps with quick set epoxy. The tape was to keep the epoxy from soaking onto and through the thin backing. It peeled off easily after the epoxy dried. Because I didn't want the two bookcases to swing apart from one another accidentally, we used several braces to connect them together. Dad drilled two metal plates on the very back of the bookcases and one metal plate on top. With two bookcases done, I went ahead and assembled the remaining two bookcases with supervision.
We used four hinges to create the doors of the craft cabinet. Two hinges on one side and two hinges on the other. It cost a total of about 12 US dollars for all four hinges. There were gaps between the bookcases that served as the doors and the bookcases that served as the back of the craft cabinet. Personally, this didn't bother me. It ended up being helpful later on when I made my own resin tabletop. You'll see that in part 3. I glued and nailed a couple of long skinny board pieces to the center shelves. These pieces would have originally gone on the very bottom of the bookcases. A pair of cabinet door handles cost about four US dollars from my local Walmart store. The thin flimsy backing of the bookcases weren't strong enough to support door handles. My dad cut and attached small wooden blocks inside the two bookcases that served as the doors of my craft cabinet. These blocks allowed me to fasten the door handles to a sturdy, solid piece. With the basic shell of my DIY craft cabinet assembled, I was ready to decorate the doors. 